friends, Valeria here from Chase and Paper and today I'm going to show you how to make world's easiest four metal corners. Here is what I'm talking about. These are the corners we're going to be making. As you can see, they add a special touch to your junk journal cover or your diary or your travel notebook, whatever you like. They add, add a beautiful ornate um, decoration to your cover. And you can make them, you don't have to buy metal corners. They could be pricey and you can't always find them maybe. And who wants to wait a few days when you order them online, right? Well, what if I told you you can make some right now with the supplies you probably already have on hand? Want to see how I make them? Let's roll, I'll show you. So first thing you want to do is you want to choose the paper you're going to work with. Here I have a um, metallic finish, foil finish paper. You could buy it at any craft store. Um, sometimes it comes in packs, but I just needed one sheet. So you can buy it in a specialty paper aisle. And it's very inexpensive to just get one sheet of 12 inches by 12 inches. And it gives you plenty of room to, to do this project. Um, so you could start with the foil finish paper. I don't want you to feel like you have to have a foil paper. Um, you can use any paper and um, just as long as it's, you know, uh, cardstock thickness, it's a little thicker than your copy paper. You don't need very thick paper for this project. It actually works best when you use medium thickness. <laughs> okay, <laughs> very technical terms here. So, but I'm choosing to work with this paper. So that's what I'm going to use. Um, you also have options if you have an embossing machine. So you can run it through your embossing machine. Here is what I have done with my um, Sizzix Big Shot. It's just a regular uh, manual machine where you have to crank the handle. And I put it um, through that machine with one of my embossing folders to give it nice texture. It has a craft paper in the back and foil-like finish on the front and that's what it looks like. So you have options or you could just use any regular card stock. Okay, but choose your paper and next thing you want to do is cut two squares of in the size of two inches by two inches. Okay, and I went ahead and I prepared two squares out of that paper, two inches by two inches. So now you're not going to believe how easy this is. Let me bring you a little closer. What you have to do is fold this paper, so I'm going to flip my metallic side over this way, and you're going to fold your square in half, just like this. Simple enough, right? I'm going to make sure that my crease is nice and crisp, and I am going to use my bone folder for that. So now my paper is folded in half. Here's my fold line right here. Now put it down and I'm going to bring these two corners. See this top two corners? I'm going to fold them towards the bottom edge of my paper to make a triangle. Like that. And like that. This paper is a little bit too thick it's probably even thicker than what I would want it to be, so it doesn't fold as nicely. But as you can see, even with this hard to fold paper, it's still pretty simple. There. I'm using my bone folder to help me score it. And there you go. This is what you have now. It's like a little triangle. So next, you can open the sides up bringing you closer so you can see your score lines right here now this is where you need your scissors and we are going to cut this little corner off and we're going to leave approximately quarter of an inch a little 
a little bigger than a quarter so we're going to leave a strip here that's a little bit wider than a quarter inch you'll see and snip there do the same thing on the other side snip there you go this is what it looks like technically your corners are ready you could use them as is but we're going to make them even prettier and nicer so in order to do that i'm going to use my paper punch you can use any design paper punch if you have any of those if you don't have that you can use um one inch circle paper punch almost everyone has one of these right so that seems to be a good size for this project and um let me show you so i ran into a problem because our project is so small it's too small to fit into the paper punch right well there is an easy fix to that so i just take a regular index card you can take a scrap of cardstock it doesn't matter i'm just going to make it a little narrower there and i'm going to grab a low tech washi tape low tech is just a fancy word for saying it's not very sticky so you need to take a piece of tape that's not very sticky and we are going to tape the end of our corner like that onto our index card and that's only done so that we can feed it easily into the paper punch now you get to watch me struggle with my paper punch first of all i'm going to flip it over because i want to be able to see exactly where i'm punching there so i'm aiming i want my design to be right on the edge of the paper can you see that so i'm feeding that in and it's pretty much in the center awesome and now i'm going to punch Like I said, my paper punch, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. It may or may not have something to do with the fact that I'm dropped it way too many times. <laughs> so now, sometimes it gets stuck. But here we go, we just punched it out. And, well, well like I said, it falls apart. <laughs> please ignore my paper punching troubles but here is what we have we have our beautiful corner with the punch out design now just peel your washi tape there your corner is free open that up there you go guess what you actually have not one but two corners i am going to cut it right here on the line to separate them there as you can see i have two corners instead of one there's one and there is two ta-da we have two beautiful metallic corners that we just made by ourselves now look let's see how good these corners would look on a book on your journal here i'm using some old ledger it has a pretty thick cover which is what you would probably have on your junk journal and this is what the corner would look like just like that Now remember you have two identical corners so you would put them both and they look good on the other side as well there look
this is what it would look like on the inside just like a regular metal corner would look so this is perfect you can use any glue to attach them i usually use art glitter glue it's a fast drying white wet glue and it seems to be working perfectly well so let me show you another way you can make a corner with our embossed paper so remember this cardstock i showed you in the beginning the one that i ran through my embossing machine okay i made two by two inches two squares with that let's make another corner out of that folding it in half like this now bringing my corners in making them meet in the center there's one side i'm trying to avoid using my bone folder because i am working with embossed paper so i don't want to um, be too rough on it so that my design stand, stays intact but here is my triangle i'm opening it up i'm taking my scissors and i'm snipping off corners right here and right here there this is what i have now and instead of using my paper punch, I'm going to use my one inch circle punch now. So again, it's going to be hard to fit it in because it's so small. So like we don't have uh, too much room to grab onto something. We're again, you're going to use our index card and we are going to attach it with a piece of washi tape or masking tape there and now we are going to flip our punch over and feed it right in there i'm aiming for the center just about and i am punching there now let's peel off our tape and see what we got as you can see my tape peeled off some of the finish of this paper but that's okay because it's not going to be visible luckily it peeled it off um, in a spot that's going to be folded over okay cutting this line to separate my two corners one corner and the other corner let's see what it looks like this is what it would look like on your book there i think it's very pretty again we are going to use the glue to attach them to your cover and remember so you make two corners out of one two by two inch squares so in order to make all four corners you want to start with two by two inch squares that's all you need to make four corners for your book or your diary your junk journal there now also just to note if you were using instead of using um metallic finish paper or um just a foil paper you can use any regular cardstock to do this any scraps really just make sure the paper is a little thicker than um copy paper thickness and at this point after you punch them out but before you attach them onto your book, you could use 
acrylic paint here I have two metallic finish acrylic paints by folk art and they look beautiful I have one in pure gold and one in uh, silver anniversary so this is basically metallic silver and metallic gold you can use any brand and you can at this point just paint your paper slightly to give it a finish that you will like there now let's go ahead and glue these corners onto the cover to see what it would look like so that we could see end result okay i'm using my art glitter glue i'm going to apply the glue to my corner right here not too much we don't want the glue oozing out and i am applying it right here here's my rack there this glue dries really fast it helps if you hold your sides fold it over just for a little while just to help it and we can apply the second corner as well doing the exactly same thing applying some art glitter glue can you see putting some right here on the inside of my corner there and I am putting it right here where it belongs onto the corner of my cover like that and I'm going to wipe down my glue don't want any glue leakage <laughs> there we push it in like this to make sure that it lies nicely and flatly against your cover and there you go so here we go friends so here are four metal corners here's what they look like they turned out beautiful there they look just like regular metal corners on your book this adds a beautiful accent to your diary, journal, junk journal, or any book. Let me know what you think. I hope you give this project a try. It's really simple and fun and quick. So please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Make sure to subscribe to my channel and share this video with a friend. Also, make sure to hit that bell button so you get notifications when I post a new video. Thank you so much. See you soon.